In this particular section of our course, we're talking about authoring a build definition. So what will you learn? Well, we're going to first start off with creating a new build definition in VSTS. Next, we'll move on to the build templates, where we'll explain what the build templates are, and we'll dive deep into those. Then we're going to go on to adding the solution to the build, and we want to make sure that we're building our application. And then we're going to actually go about running some tests during the build process when it runs. And then lastly, we're going to queue a build. So you'll see that we have gone through the life cycle of the build definition from the creation, adding the template, the solution, running, creating some tests and running the tests against the uh, application. And then lastly, we'll queue up that build. So with that, let's go on to actually creating the new build definition video and join me for that one. In this particular video, we're talking about creating a new build definition. So what will you learn? Obviously, we're going to create a new build definition. This is all the focus of this video is going to be is how we go about actually creating the build definition. Later videos will actually do more work with the build definition now that it's been created. So the process for creating a new build definition is pretty simple. You select a template and you configure some tasks. So you'll notice here in the dialog that we have various featured templates that are available. Also we have the YAML build definition if we want to use that. So with that, let's go into the demo environment and I just want to show you how we're going to go about. We're going to actually create the new build definition and we'll walk through some of these templates that are available. Alright, so I'm here in our demo environment and I want to actually show you how we're going to go about creating a simple build definition. So to start off with, I'm going to go over to the build and release menu item up here and I'm going to go down to the builds option in there. That's the first one in the list. It's going to bring up the build definition window where I'm just going to list out all the build definitions that I have in my project. You can see I have a couple already. But over here to the right, you have a couple of buttons, one being the new for creating the new definition. So I'm going to click on new. And then I have the option of choosing a template. There's various templates here of predefined actions that you may want to work with. So for example, uh, the ASP.NET Preview is for building ASP.NET web applications. So if you're building a web application, you may want to select that template because it populates with a number of tasks that are associated with building an ASP.NET web application. And the same thing with ASP.NET Core, if you were interested there. Azure Web Apps, if you're actually going to be deploying out to Azure and you want to deploy uh, web apps, you can go about doing that and picking that template. So again, there's various other ones here too. Again, not Windows platform ones or non-Windows platform like Android. You see here we have some other ones if we're going to be interacting with Jenkins or Gradle. You want to use Maven and then Xamarin for the iOS, Android, and Xcode for your uh, Mac code. So you see you have a various number of different templates that are available to you depending on what it is you're going to build in your project. So for my project, I'm just going to go ahead and select the ASP.NET Web Preview. And I'm going to click Apply. And that's going to basically give me the skeleton of a build definition. It doesn't do anything right now, but I have to finish setting up some of the settings. In order to save it, the one thing I have to do is give it the agent queue for the build agent. And we're just going to go with the hosted. And you can see here are the steps I was mentioning uh, that are in this particular template. Things like, you know, do, getting a NuGet installer and doing NuGet restores, builds, tests, publishing. Uh, symbols and publishing the artifact to a drop location when we're done. So you see it's pretty well built out for us to get a start on what we're going to do with our ASP.NET web application when we go to build it. So with that, let's go back and wrap up. In later videos, we're going to actually show you how we can add to this particular template. And we're going to actually point it to a solution that we're going to work with and then build it out with some steps and tasks that we're going to add to it, some testing, things like that. So join me in the future videos, but for now, let's go wrap up.
In this particular video, we focused on creating a very simple new build definition. Nothing elaborate, adding no steps. We just wanted to create the structure by which we're going to build out our build definition. So we showed you how to go about doing that in VSTS. And it would be the same way within TFS if you're using your on-premises TFS. So no difference there between the two environments.